What's believed to have started as a fight has ended with a death in Surrey overnight, and homicide investigators have been called in. Greg Harper joins us live from Surrey with the latest on this. Greg? Good morning, Jody. Here at uh, 65B Avenue and 131st Street in Surrey. As you can see behind me, a large uh, investigation that continues. Quite an area that uh, remains surrounded by police tape. And we're also seeing a couple tarps leaning against a fence, a couple more tarps on the roadway covering some sort of evidence. This is what we know at this point. Uh, police were called here just before uh, 2 o'clock this morning, uh, reportedly after a group of men were fighting. However, investigators not confirming this. All police are saying is that when they arrived, they found a man suffering from significant injuries. Uh, he succumbed to those injuries. Police not saying exactly what those injuries are or how, how he died, but it's believed he did not suffer from gunshot wounds. Talking to a number of uh, residents who live nearby here, they say this area has gotten worse. They've noticed uh, drug activity go up and fights, and they say they've called police a number of times. Well, I've lived here for 10 years, and uh, it's uh, escalating. It always seems to be more and more stuff going on around here. Like what kind of stuff? Uh, fighting. There's never been any shootings around here, but there's been lots of uh, fighting and stuff and drug dealing and stuff like that. This is uh, an area that's uh, as common of a neighborhood as any uh, neighborhood. And from my experience, these incidents uh, take place uh, really anywhere. It's very difficult to say, but it is not indicative of, uh, of the area as far as we're concerned uh, from an I hate perspective. Now, this incident took place right next to an elementary school, St. Bernadette Elementary. This is an independent school, not affected by the teacher's dispute. So there is school today. Police saying they will work with uh, parents and, and students to minimize the inconvenience. However, it's still unclear if school will go ahead here today.